I could consider books as mentors. To be more exact, the authors of books, of watercolor books, became my mentors. So I read their books, I read their philosophy, and I, I admired their work. I practiced their style. And one of those books is, is this, uh, which I bought in 2003, 18 years ago. So Loretta Venciarelli, she's Italian, and she teaches at the Harvard School of Design. And these are a collection of her works in watercolor. And most of these are on 22 inch by 30 inches. You could see how I was attracted to the work done by her. All of these were, were in watercolor, of course. I could just imagine the size of these things. It's just that the quality of work and the way she did. So I'm guessing that, you know, she did a bit of penciling first, of course in constructing the the edges of the um, these figures so this is one of my favorites here you could see the staircase a pool columns the beams and openings to the sky and i love this because it showcases the 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 control of watercolor from light to dark which is the graded wash you could see how perfectly aligned the openings from here going to the water but and light bouncing back the 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 full control so this is like a a real good exercise so i have replicated this this image just to practice that control that level of control but not necessarily exactly the same so you could see the variations of this and she even showcases the the light beam from here, contrasting between what if there is light hitting the viewer, experiencing the light from here, coming from these sky openings. So other variations of this. So I love the illusion how she does the lighting and the darkness here, just a stark contrast. Here is another favorite. So the light, the darkness, and the gradient control, the values that she, she placed from the lightest to the darkest. So she was using the Windsor & Newton brand of watercolors. These are just wonderful. I like how this thin light is, is going into this room and it's bouncing all over the place inside this, this dark room. This is one of the more complex images that she created with this scene. So this one showcases uh, the curvature of the ceiling. And she does this series of watercolors that are, are like connected to each other. So these are from 22 inch by 30 inches and she connects them together. You can connect them to a series that are very similar and to create this one image. So books were very instrumental in my formation of my skills in watercolor. All information that I got are from books, especially the uh, watercolor basics, what material to get, the basic techniques, the types of brushes that are excellent, certain parts of the painting, what sort of pigments are the best, the best watercolor paper. So that's it. I'm just showing you a bit of the things that that influenced me um, drastically in, in, in my way of painting watercolor. Venciarelli is, is just one of them. Uh, I have a lot who I admire throughout history and contemporary. See, so see you again in another video in showcasing some of the things I've learned and practices in watercolor.